right, my friends, we have a data download for the new Super Battle Road stages. Now, there also is two other new cards. Uh, we have a Bra here, and then, of course, we also have a Chi Chi. Now, these units release at the same time as this brand new Int LR Goku, who is a Super Battle Road reward. So, I would not be surprised if the Chi Chi and Bra are part of a banner. Uh, it could be a Peachy Peachy Gals category banner, because... If we take a look at this post right here, shout out to Zahal. Uh, I appreciate these posts because they're always a lot of the info is condensed in one place. It doesn't make it very easy. Now, we have a bunch of new missions and stuff. We'll go over all of this, but real quick. So, one of this new Super Battle Road stages is a Peachy Peachy Gals category uh, stage. So, that's going to be real fucking interesting. Now, with Khalifa and Kefla, you should be good. I, honestly, I would imagine these stages are scaled directly to, you know, the level of the category, right? So we could expect that the fucking Patara category stage is going to be very difficult. People would think, oh, we're going to be able to absolutely just shit on this right here uh, because, you know, we got the Patara team and stuff. I imagine that stage would be super tough. Whereas something like the Peppy Gallus stage is not really going to be as tough, right? So, what I'm thinking is there's probably going to be a banner uh, that will be released alongside uh, Super Battle Road. So, because this Chi Chi and Bra, they're actually really good, but for the Peppy Gal team, right? Uh, shout out to my boy Talon here. Uh, he made some translations. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at these for the LR Goku, uh, the Chi Chi, as well as the Bra. So, the LR Goku right over here. Uh, as you guys can see, he is the counterpart to the uh, physical kid Gohan. Uh, this guy is going to be a reward for the new category uh, Super Battle World stages, as well as the Super and the Extreme uh, Super Battle World stages. Yo, <laughs> the Extreme Super Battle World stage is going to be the easiest one by far, by the way. Uh, the the villain, team, <laughs> villain team is like the best team in the game, like when you got all the LRs. So this bad boy, his leader skill is the same as, same as Thousand Day Goku, but he is, you know, a, a free-to-play card. Like, a, well, Thousand Day Goku is free-to-play as well, but uh, <laughs> good luck getting those Thousand Days log in. This guy, you know, it's just beat the new category of Super Battle World stages, which is going to be tough, but I think I saw... Wait, uh, Zahal had it posted here. Uh, so the Goku... You get him for clearing all even-numbered new stages, uh, clearing all odd stages, uh, clearing all of them gives you two, and then clearing any new stage 20 times gives one. So, to be honest, I'm sure most people would have one of these category teams that probably would be able to win. I mean, again, we'll see what the Patara category stage looks like, uh, the Realm of God category stage, as well as the Fusion. Those are the, the categories that I think most people will probably have the most confidence in their teams, right? I mean, LR, Gogeta, and Vegito, <laughs> they really might just completely shit on the event by themselves. Like, we'll see, right? So, uh, that is something to keep in mind. So this might be a very easy leader to get. Now his 12 key super is a rare chance to stun. 18 key super uh, gives allies an attack buff of 30% for one turn. So it may be like a spirit bomb type attack. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, the bra and this Goku introduce kind of a new thing we haven't seen before, which is super types key to attack and defense 30% and a medium chance to dodge. So, this Goku is a support unit that gives allies a medium chance to dodge enemy attacks. That's fucking interesting. This team, by the way, this team with this Goku as leader is probably going to be very fucking effective because this Goku is a support type unit. So, I'm going to tell y'all right now, uh, I actually recorded a video about the Int PyCon just before the data download hit, and in it, I talked about how there's no fucking place for him. Uh, he would work pretty good on this Goku team, because it, it would work very similar to the Turles team, right? Where the two Turleses are floaters, giving you, you know, a uh, key, which would help for, you know, units that don't have good links, and, you know, the nice big uh, attack 40% buff. Well, this Goku, that team's gonna work the same thing. You can have both of these LR Gokus working as floaters. Maybe you bring one more unit like, uh, I don't know, Turles? And then you could just have, like, LR rotations or some crazy shit. That team is probably going to be very interesting, even at only 200%.
Uh, and then if HP is 50% or below, uh, the Goku does give an additional attack and defense 20% to super type allies. So if your health is below 50%, this Goku is going to give 50% to super type allies and a medium chance to dodge enemy attacks. That shit is real interesting. Real, real interesting. Uh, then looking at the Waifu Chi Chi, uh, leader skills, STR and physical, key 3, stats 50%. Well, that's not bad. That's interesting, actually. Uh, hmm. That really makes me think they're summonable, by the way. Super Attack, she seals on Super Attack. Her Super Attack animation's interesting. She actually uses the Bancho fan. I was really surprised to see that. Passive is beginning of the turn. She gets attack buff of 80%. And if a teammate is in the Peachy Peachy Gal category, then they get two key and a 100% defensive buff. So she get so this Chi Chi basically has attack 80% and defense 100%. Uh, does that sound like anything to y'all? She's designed for the new Super Battle World stages for sure. Like, you get Chi Chi on there, Khalifa, Kefla, and then the new Bra, and that probably will help you out a lot in terms of being able to beat the new... Wait, both of these are Bra right here. Yeah, okay. And being able to beat the new stage. Uh, so I imagine the Chi Chi and Bra will be kind of uh, a big deal. So, and then last, looking at Bra... Uh, her leader skill is EGL and tech key 3, and then stats 50%. Good, just like Chi Chi's. Uh, her super attack, she doesn't have an 18 key. Talon actually DM'd me and said, like, you know, ignore the 18 key. Uh, he said, yeah, having difficulties typing on a phone. No problem, my boy. Thank you. Again, yo, shout outs to Talon for the translations for real, for real. Uh, so on her super attack, she greatly raises attack like the in ultimate Gohan. It stacks. Oh, that's interesting. And then her passive is everyone gets key two. And then for each character in the Peachy Peachy Gal category on the team, chance to dodge goes up 20%. A total of 50%. Wait, does that mean it stacks? That's... Wait. So... It might be... Probability of occurrence of a team that's on their allies of the Peachy Peachy Gal kind of... Wait, that's not going to give every unit a 50% chance to dodge, is it? So if Bra's on rotation, the whole rotation has a 50% chance to dodge? If it's a full peachy peachy gal team? Nani? That shit would be insane, bro. What? What? Nah, nah, you're playing. Listen. Listen. You're playing with me. We're going to have to see. We'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll we'll see. That shit sounds insane. Yo. <laughs> All right. Well, yo, shout out to Talon for the translations. Holy shit. Um okay, so again, there are uh 10 new stages for the new Super Battle Road. Uh we can see them over here on uh DBZ space. Uh, I'll go over them more in depth in a second. Uh, we got the new Chi Chi, all the new stuff. So this basically covers all of the new info. I do also want to point out that uh, even though Bra is like, I think she's fucking nine or eight. I think Bra is eight. Even though Bra is eight, she's on the Peachy Peachy Gal category. And then obviously, I mean, Chi Chi. <laughs> Chi Chi, this version of Chi Chi is like top tier waifu. So uh, don't even fucking come at me with that. Chi Chi is top tier. Of course she is in here. So let's look at all the info here. So Goku Jr. comes back on the 24th. Uh, cooler is back on the 24th. The uh, I presume that's a normal Cooler event. You know, the first Cooler movie. Uh, great Saiyan event. None of those are really that big a deal. Uh, clearing each of the new Super Battle World stage gives five stones each. So that means there's, what, 50 stones up for grabs? That's pretty good. Uh, we already went over this, but clearing all even-numbered stages gives a Goku. Odd stages gives a Goku. Clearing all gives two, and then clearing any new stage gives one. The Ribrian event returns on the 19th. Uh, I know which one that is. So, I don't know if the physical Ribrian is farmable from that event, though. They might have different names. Uh, and then, alright, so all the new Super Battle World stages. We have a Super uh, character is allowed. That one should be pretty easy because, again, you could use any Super type ally. So, you could use Jacko and fucking Chaozu on that team. Busted. You're going to blow right through it. Uh, extreme characters is so simple. LR Bojack, LR Goku Black are going to absolutely trash that. Fusion. LR Gogeta might dominate this. Now, now this is interesting. Shadow Dragon art category. I could actually see this one being kind of difficult, depending on how many dupes you might have. 
for Omega. Or if you don't have the new tech Super Saiyan for Goku, that shit's gonna be crazy hard. But I, I imagine the key to this is gonna be uh, Super Saiyan for Gogeta and tech Super Saiyan for Goku. They'll be the keys for the Shadow Dragon Art category stage. So Peppy Gal's stage. Uh, I think Khalifa and Kefla, maybe all you need, we'll see. Again, I think they're going to scale the difficulty of each of these to the category. So, I don't think, like, these enemies are going to be dishing out 5 million damage per hit like they might do on the Shadow Dragon Art category stage, right? So, I, I mean, we're going to see. This, of all the stages, the Peppy Gals one is actually the one I'm the most intrigued in. I may uh, rainbow future Android 18, though. She could be an interesting unit. Uh, getting her on that category, and then alongside Kefla to help Kefla do maximum damage and raise her defense as well. That might be a combo I'll be looking to do on that uh, stage there. So, stage 16 is only Mix Saiyan. Again, that one shouldn't be too tough because, you know, Ultimate Gohan will give a nice 50% defensive buff to a lot of your Mix Saiyans like LR Gohan, LR Trunks. I, I think you should be pretty good there. Uh,. Yeah, LR Gohan is just going to be doing so much damage. Revived Warrior category, this one shouldn't be so bad because you could do a rotation of Angel Golden Frieza and then Tech Golden Frieza. So that'll be a very defensive rotation. Uh, LR Bojack could be fantastic here. Uh, I guess LR Majin Vegeta maybe as well. Uh, it might be a little difficult to get his 18 key super for that attack all, but, you know, very interesting. Oh, another reason why the Extreme Sage is going to be a joke. LR Broly, please, come on. Uh, and then uh, the Realm of Gods category, uh, if you don't have UI Goku, you're boned. Yeah, so you're only going to be able to participate, really, if you've got Ultra Instinct Goku. So this category, again, this one, LR Goku Black and Rosé are going to make this probably a little easier than you might think. Uh, I think LR Vegito Blue, again, is going to be a very top-tier option here, uh, just because how, how, defense, how high his defense starts out, right? Uh, and then Sage 19... Majin Buu Saga category shouldn't be too tough with two Super Vegitos. Uh, all their counters, their damage reduction should really allow you to be fine. And then the Patara category as well. Again, LR Super Vegito. Of all these stages, the one I feel like... Oh man, Revived Warriors, you could have LR Broly as well. So the stage that will probably be the hardest might be Realm of Gods. I think the Realm of Gods from all these stages here might be the most difficult because you have like a cheat code unit for all the stages right shadow dragon you got super saiyan 4 goji the cheat code unit uh peppy gals i mean i'm gonna have to see that stage in action but khalifa is gonna be really good kefla is gonna be really good there mix saiyan i guess the mix saiyan one will be pretty tough i mean if you don't have lr gohan and lr trunks that's gonna be real tough real challenging so i would say the mix saiyan is probably gonna be the hardest revive warrior you got the cheat code lr broly realm of gods I guess maybe LR Goku Black. He's not really like a, a cheat code type unit though. But like Super Vegito is perfect for the Buu Saga. And then obviously LR Vegito. I'm going to be really curious to see if you're going to be able to get LR Vegito and Gogeta's transformations on their stages. I would suspect not. Probably because the, the fights still aren't going to last more than six turns. That's the problem. Getting below 50% health you could do. But below 50% health and six turns deep into the fight is something that's difficult but regardless i'm very very excited guys uh the release date for this is actually uh tomorrow so this all this drops in about uh 24 25 26 27 28 29 hours about 29 hours from now uh all this should drop i expect the new super battle road and then a uh peachy peachy gals category banner are kind of the two things i'm thinking we'll get uh, so, I don't know, maybe it'll be a place to get, uh, like, LR Beerus and stuff, like, because I'm actually, that's the only symbol LR I'm missing uh, a copy for, so I, you know, hopefully it could be a banner with the LRs on it, we'll see, uh, I'm actually pretty excited, this Goku seems interesting, I can't wait to run his team, uh, let me know what you guys think, and I will catch y'all next time.